Hello everyone, welcome to today's episode of Easy SAP ABOP. Today I wanted to show you how to maintain security policies. So security policies allow us to set different parameters than the usual profile parameters for specific groups of users. So for example, if we go to transaction SU01 and maintain a user, we can see under, where is it, logon data? Logon data, there's a spot for security policy. If I hit the F4 help, there's going to be nothing here. It's going to say, do you want to edit entries? So you could do it a one-off time, you know, that way, or you could use transaction SEC POL to maintain security policies. It's going to take you to this view cluster to maintain. We're going to start by creating one. Let's go in change mode and say new entries. So I'll just call this one Z admin short text. I'll say administrator security policy. And then you can give it different attributes. So I'll select Z admin, double click on attributes. And then these different attributes here, there's an F4 help for it. So go ahead and do your F4 help. And you can see here we have things like password history size, password change wait time. So for example, if we wanted our administrator's passwords to not expire on the same interval as the default profile parameter specifies, which I think in this case, the system default something like 90 days, maybe I'm not entirely sure what this one's set to. So we'll say password change interval. We can add a custom attribute. If we click our F4 help here, we'll get actually an F1 type help, permissible value zero to a thousand. If you specify the value zero, users are not prompted to change their productive passwords unless a change due to the tightening of the password rules becomes necessary. However, it's possible for unused productive passwords to become invalid. So let's say attribute value zero. And we can add different attributes here. Same as default value zero. Uh, it's going to prompt me for a transport request. I'll say transaction code, create admin security policy. So evidently I already had zero for the value. Let's say 1,000 just for to demonstrate this. So now it's 1,000. Now if you want this to apply to a particular user, you have to go back and assign it in transaction SU01 to a user. So we'll say developer user, which is my user. Go to log on data, security policy. If I do the F4 help now, we can see our Z admin. We can assign that, save our user, and that's how you can assign that security policy. So it's as simple as that. And like I said, this is useful for, you know, maybe if one department wants a more restrictive policy, another department wants a less restrictive policy, you know, their admin folks, your IT folks. Um, maybe you want your admin people to have a longer password than the ones that you allow your regular users to have. You can make all those changes in here using these different security policy attributes. So what we can do there is assign it to a user and it'll take effect for that particular user. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. If you like my video, please leave me a like and a subscribe. It really helps me out. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.